Hi everyone, Andrew from ActiveChat.ai here with yet another hint on building awesome chatbots. When you design your chatbot conversation, it's very important to have a quick and simple way to unsubscribe users from your chatbot. This is important to comply with Facebook Terms of Service and also this brings more comfort to your chatbot users and more credibility to your chatbot itself. We have recently introduced a special block in data category that is called status. This block is used to control the subscription status of your chatbot users and uh, it can be either subscribed or unsubscribed. Let's see how we can implement this unsubscription process in a simple skill that you can use in almost every your chatbot. This skill will be triggered by unsubscribe event. You can see this cage block here and uh, immediately after this cage block we have this status block setting users status to unsubscribe. And then we just confirm with a text message, sure, sorry for annoying you, you're unsubscribed now. If you ever change your mind, just type subscribe. And the button subscribe leads again to another status block, setting status to subscribe. So if the user changes his or her mind, uh, this button can be clicked and the status will get back to subscribe again. And again, simple confirmation, great, you're subscribed now. If you ever change your mind, just type, type stop or unsubscribe. Please note also another cache block here for subscribe event. This efficiently gives us two events, subscribe and unsubscribe, to control the subscription status of your chatbot user. And we can trigger these events either from uh, our uh, persistent menu in the chatbot or maybe from the keywords or NLP intents. This chatbot contains simple example of uh, keyword triggering for these in events. And you can see we are catching this default event and you can see that in the default skill which is triggered every time your user sends any message to your chatbot we have this simple switch block checking if last user input system variable contains stop or contains unsubscribe then we are triggering this unsubscribe event and if user input contains subscribe then we are triggering this subscribe event current subscription status of any of your chatbot users you can check in settings users dashboard you can see this column subscribed and you can see that uh, four users are subscribed to this chatbot now and currently one is unsubscribed let's jump on messenger and see how it works there if i send this bot something like stop the bot reacts with sorry for annoying you you're unsubscribed now and if i go to list of users i can see that for me andrey ganin is unsubscribed if i go back to the bot and uh, type subscribe the bot is sending me the message that i'm subscribed now and if i refresh my list of users i can see that my status changed to subscribe if i send unsubscribe again and go back to the list of users, refreshing it, I can see that I'm unsubscribed again. Why do you need this? First of all, uh, this uh, system variable, status of your user, is uh, taken into consideration automatically when you do broadcasts. And uh, you don't have to check if your user is subscribed or not. When you are sending any broadcast, we are checking this uh, status for you. And if the user is unsubscribed, if status is unsubscribed, we do not send broadcast to that user. And then when you do your own timers, drip content and so on and so forth, you can check the value of uh, this variable, the current user's status, with a switch block. And I will show you another example how to achieve this. Let's say we have this drip skill that is used uh, to drip daily content to your chatbot users. And uh, we do not want this uh, drip skill to be triggered to, for, for users who are unsubscribed. We will add this simple switch block. And check the value of subscribed system variable. Please note uh, that uh, the name of the variable starts with dollar sign and underscore. If value of this variable is equal to false, that means that user is unsubscribed, we will do nothing. So we do not connect anything to this button. And if the value of this variable is true or any other value, we will be setting our delete campaign. 
I will run the bot now and show you how it works on Messenger. Type in subscribe to subscribe to messages and call in this drip skill. And you can see that the bot sent me my drip campaign. If I say stop and then trigger drip skill again, there are no messages from the bot, the bot is silent, so the bot is following my subscription status. Hope that helps, stay tuned to our upcoming chatbot hints and don't forget to sign up for our chatbot academy for more uh, advanced chatbot building content. Take care, bye bye.